In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some neon lines to a picture and wrap them around a model, just like you can see in the picture on your screen at the moment. It's not too hard, so let's head over to Photoshop and have a crack at getting this started. We will need to open up the picture of the girl from Curriculum Drive, first of all. Once she's open on your page, head over to your Layers panel here, create a new layer, and rename it by double-clicking on it. Just call it Neon Lines. Press Enter once you're done. Obviously we're going to be drawing the neon lines onto this layer. So to begin with, we need to grab our brush tool. Just press the letter B for the keyboard shortcut, or select it from your toolbox. Once you've got the brush tool, head on up to your brush panel at the top here. And we need to make the size of our brush around 13 pixels, I think looks pretty good. We also need to get our brushes panel set out like mine, so you can see the different types of brushes. To do that, you'll need to click this little play button at the top of the box and choose Stroke Thumbnail. And that way you should get your brushes, brushes set out like mine. We want to choose this one, the seventh one down. It's like a wavy effect. It's got skinny tips and a thick middle section. So find that brush. It's the round point stiff brush. Click on it and just click outside the box once you've got it selected. We'll come back to using that in a moment. What we need to do now is grab our pen tool and draw some lines across the top of the girl, which will eventually be our neon glow lines. So with the pen tool, I'm going to start around the left side of the picture, okay, just below shoulder height. I'm going to click once, so a dot appears on my screen. Then I'm going to go over to the right hand side of the picture. Just go slightly higher than we did with the last dot and click again. So we'll have a line slightly sloping upwards across the page. Next step is to go just below that second point, so down around here. And this time we're going to click and drag our mouse back to the left side of the photo. And as we do that you'll see that it turns into a nice looking curve. Once you're happy with how the curve looks, just let your mouse go and drop that third point into position. So we've got a nice arch happening there at the moment. Below that point you just dropped, what I want you to do is go down a little bit again. And we're going to repeat the last step, so we're going to click and drag and head back to the other side of the body. Okay, once you've got that into a good spot, the curve looks nice, drop it again. And we'll repeat that step one more time. So just below that point we dropped, I'm going to go down a little bit further, and click and drag. Just finish off our curves, just like that. Okay, with your pen tool still selected, what we need to do now is just right click anywhere on that path we just drew, and select Stroke Path. From the dialog box that appears, I want you to choose Brush, and make sure Simulate Pressure is checked. Once you've got those two options, we'll click OK, and you'll see that that brush effect now that we chose earlier has been added to our stroke. Okay, so we've got the skinny edges, and it gets a bit thicker through the middle. Not much, it's just enough for it to look good. You see that it gets a bit skinnier towards the end. Okay, next step is to go back over to our Layers panel, and we're going to right click on the neon lines layer. We're going to head up to the blending options and what we're going to do with it is put an outer glow around the outside of this line. At the moment it's a dodgy yellow colour so change that yellow to something like purple. Something that's going to stand out really nicely. When you click OK you might start to see that purple appearing on the page. Because it's not very big we need to change the size of it. So bump that size from 5 pixels up to at least 10 pixels. Again, we can start to see this purple a bit more clearly now. To finish off with, I'm going to change the contour to the half round contour. So that one just there. And we can start to see our neon lines looking really good now. So I'm going to click on OK. And what we'll do now is start to rub out some of the lines that go across the top of the girl's body just by using the eraser tool. Press the letter E for the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to zoom in around her neck area to begin with. And with my eraser, 
I'm just going to simply rub out the section of the line that goes over the top of her body. You will be left with a skinny little line underneath, which is the path that we drew earlier. We'll remove that in a moment, so don't stress too much about that. Okay, so I've rubbed that section out. I'm going to leave the next bit through her tummy. And as we come down the bottom, across the pants here, we will rub that line out. So be careful, make sure you've got a nice soft brush on. If you want to change your brush, just choose any of them. I've chosen the first one. Remember you can use your right and left square bracket keys to make your brush bigger and smaller. Okay, so just close as you can to the body there. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to zoom out. That's not too bad. Finally, just grab your pen tool again and right click on that stroke anywhere and I want you to click delete path that's going to remove that stroke and we're left with the neon lines that run around the outside of the girl's body now okay so I think that looks pretty good um, feel free to change the color and the shape of the neon lines but that's the general idea of how it's created